Chain link you have to know it freaking stinks. Special opportunity reporting. Chain link is one of my favorite altcoins for the future as it's a solution being used by almost all of crypto and DeFi. But there's a possibility. Chain link branches out of the crypto industry and into the trillion dollar world of traditional finance. There's no doubt chain link and its Oracle solution are the dominant force. In Oracle space checking out DeFi Llama. We can see that Chainlink commands nearly 50% of the Oracle space with over 15 billion secured with its decentralized Oracle network. 15 billion secured but that's just 1.5 of a trillion in my intro. I said Chainlink will be branching out into the world of traditional finance to start securing trillions. So is this going to happen? Well let's just listen to Sergi Nazarov on multiple occasions. Beginning with his keynote speech at Smartkin in 2020 where the slide he is speaking about says the remaining market for smart contracts is trillions. But then we also need to reason through how do we enable the world's global economy to shift its value into a smart contract based format. Whether that's through crypto startups, web companies or institutions moving into, into providing that value into these systems. And I think what this slide is really meant to illustrate is that we're, we're at the very, very, very beginning of this. This isn't the only time Sergi has talked about trillions. In relation to Chainlink the next year in 2021, he said this on a podcast with much enthusiasm. There's two trillion dollars in value to flow into this thing. If even half of that flows into it, it's going to be bigger than all the banks. Trillions once again, but then there is this important. One Sergi was invited to the Smarter Securities Conference held by the payment network giant SWIFT in the summer of last year. Matthew DeHering, Director of Capital Markets and Strategy at SWIFT asked Sergi a very important question. And Sergey, let's perhaps start with something very basic. Could you tell us a little bit about yourself, your organization, and perhaps if relevant, some of your earlier areas of cooperation with SWIFT? In advanced terms, it's actually an abstraction layer that validates data and commands so that they can be considered reliable enough to trigger you know, billions and trillions of dollars in value. And that goes to the, the guarantees of a blockchain extended to um, something like an abstraction layer or middleware. In, in terms of the exciting the work that we've done in the past, um, um, as far back as 2017, I think we were able to get uh, SWIFT ISO 20022 compliant messages sent from smart contracts and then get SWIFT um, kind of outcomes from the SWIFT network back into a smart contract. And since then, you know, there's been a lot of progress made on how the technology works and what it's capable of in various chains. Billions to trillions of dollars and Sergi explains their previous and continuing work with SWIFT. The largest payment messaging network in the world. So are we diving into SWIFT and Chainlink today? Now it's well known that Chainlink is working closely with SWIFT on ISO 222 and smart contract capabilities. So where are we going? Well, we are diving down deep today and revealing another close partner of Chainlink. We are diving into Chainlink's connections with the DTCC, the Depository Trust and Clearing Corporation. So who is the DTCC? Well, from a recent blog from them, they explain just that under about the DTCC. They say DTCC is the premier post-trade market infrastructure for the global financial services industry. In 2020, DTCC's subsidiaries process securities transactions valued at more than you. S2.3 quadrillion. Its depository provides custody and asset servicing for securities issued from 170 countries and territories valued at you. S73.5 trillion. The DTCC is a trillion and even quadrillion dollar behemoth they settled the vast majority of securities transactions in the U.S. making it by far the highest financial value processor in the world. So what has the DTCC been doing regarding blockchain? Well in 2017, they announced and revealed Axe Core, meaning 11 trillion in derivatives. We're getting closer to the blockchain. The article states, for the first time publicly pallet. Nick also revealed that. Axos Axe Core protocol was originally derived from the public Ethereum blockchain and that the DTCC system uses the same Solidity smart contract language that powers its application. However, Axe Core has been modified to include a modular consensus mechanism that lets it tailor services to specific needs of the DTCC. The DTCC was building their own blockchain based on Ethereum, although it wasn't the Ethereum mainnet. Well, three years later, the DTCC released the case study called Project Whitney. So what is Whitney? Well, in the case study, 
The DTCC says, Project Whitney led by DTCC's innovation team is a multi-phase project designed to evaluate the practical and commercial viability and value of a digital infrastructure. Supporting private market securities. How does Project Whitney work? Well, they also say, while the prototype mints tokens and records asset transfers on the public Ethereum network, it maintains an independent digital record of security ownership and performs real-time compliance and suitability checks off-chain. The DTCC would be using the public Ethereum network for minting and the transferring of assets while communicating with a system off-chain. Doesn't it sound like Project Whitney would be using some type of oracles for this? Well, of course, as we can see the compliance. Oracle is at the center of how this works. Well, just one month after Project Whitney was unveiled, it was announced that Chainlink and the DTCC were a part of the Interwork Alliance. Both as principal members the goal of this alliance to standardize token-powered ecosystems worldwide. Now Chainlink put out a blog in November of 2020, titled 77 Plus Smart Contract Use Cases Enabled by Chainlink and under the section Regulation. They specifically mentioned Project Whitney's compliance. Oracle just a coincidence? I think not. Why? Now back to bringing this Chainlink DTCC connection full circle. Now Chainlink has their annual Smartkin conference happening next month in September. Going to the speaker list. We can see it's a smorgasbord of heavy hitters. Of course Swift is speaking. Former CEO of Google is speaking. But if we scroll down we can see the DTCC is speaking too. Specifically Stefan Prosperi, their head of product management and digital securities management is Stefan involved with Project Whitney. Yes, he is and was. As Project Whitney today has evolved into DSM, the DTCC's digital securities management platform. So let's hear from Stefan on just that. Digital securities management, or DSM, is inspired by the work we did throughout 2019 and 2020 on what we called Project Whitney. The goal of the service is to support private market assets, an asset class that's really lacking infrastructure coverage today. We want to start with pre-IPO equity and support it throughout the life cycle from issuance, distribution, on through secondary trading. We can support what we call book entry, the traditional off-chain record keeping model, in addition to what we call book entry plus, which gives issuers the optionality to tokenize their asset on the public Ethereum network initially, but we plan to support other public and private blockchains in the future. Now Stefan talked about book entry plus on the DSM, which gives security issuers the ability to tokenize on the Ethereum mainnet. I wonder if this involves oracles. Well, going to the DSM white paper and the spotlight on book entry plus, we can see it says, any on-chain token transfer first seeks approval from the DSM platform which acts as a blockchain oracle and ensures transfer restrictions pass and off-chain records are updated. So it's highly likely Chainlink has been working with the DTCC on this and at Smartkin. We may be getting a special look into this work and collaboration, but is that the only big player Chainlink is working with? Of course not. In April of last year Chainlink announced leading crypto risk intelligence company, CypherTrace launched a Chainlink node to support CypherTrace DeFi Comply a compliance oracle solution that makes key off act compliance data available on chain. Guess who acquired CypherTrace? Mastercard did. It was announced in September of last year and going to this blog on the compliance oracle we can see that CypherTrace's website now has a MasterCard logo and the blog says this is part of its D5 solution. CypherTrace has launched a D5 compliance oracle service on Chainlink to make relevant compliance data available directly on Chain for easy integration with existing D5 frameworks. It's built directly on Chainlink. Chainlink is directly connected to MasterCard for their compliance oracle. So my friends, the world will eventually catch on to Chainlink but let's help the world by using some meme magic to spread the word quicker through the internet astral plane. Link, please go to moon. Stop going down right now. What would you define chain link as? Mr. Game White people. say we going down we'll all day, trigger, but Mr. No Nazarov say the bottom is in. Bottom is in. Nazarov is bullish. Bottom is in. Big White is berry. Nazarov is bullish. Let us go to moon. If you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe. As we put out daily content to keep you up to date on the current marketing news. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.